thank God Almighty. I call heaven and earth to be a record today. That right. Rock Nation, right. you will crumble. It's corporately sponsored pedophile. Everybody knew. Once it came out on R. Kelly, Jay-Z fled the scene. Point was he knew all the time. For 20 years, Jay-Z refused to speak out against R. Kelly, but his former partner, Dame Dash, won't stay silent. Aaliyah is key to everything. Aaliyah and I were very serious. When she was under age, yeah, I forgot about Jay, huh? We only know about Dame and Dash messing with Aaliyah and, uh, and R. Kelly. But that ain't the only one that Jay had when she was under age. Yeah, I remember Fox Brown and Jay. This video is gonna be messy. I'm not exactly sure what dirt Jason Lee had ready to drop on Beyonce, but from what's been going around, it seems like they've essentially been doing their own thing for a good while now. Yeah, they're still a unit, but living life on separate paths. Wait a minute, did Jason Lee actually let loose some info on Beyonce and Jay-Z calling it quits way before the rest of us even had a clue? I'm about to lay down the evidence, the same ones I've been hinting at. Yes, I'm gonna lay it all out. The drama that's gonna unfold. Just take a moment. You all better find a comfortable spot for this, cause the the gossip is boiling, and honey, I can't just sit with this all by myself. Now, if y'all been scrolling through social media these past weeks, you might have caught wind of Jason Lee making waves a while back when he boldly took to his talk show, straight up threatening to spill some serious tea on Beyonce right there on camera. He was talking big, saying he'd drop some damaging secrets about her and Jay's marriage unless Beyonce could convince Kelly Rowland to swing by his show. Back then, a whole bunch of folks were left scratching their heads, not quite catching his drift, and he caught some heat for stepping to Beyonce like that. That. But now, with all this chatter about Beyonce possibly heading for Splitsville with Jay-Z, folks are doubling back to Jason's words, and yo, it's looking messier than anyone figured. This whole drama of them living separate lives, hinting at possibly one of the biggest breakups Hollywood's ever seen, got a lot to do with Jay-Z being next in line to get his laundry aired out. And trust, there's a heap of stories out there Jay-Z could try to silence or sweep under the rug. But this, nah, he ain't stopping this train, and both of them know what's up. All right, so this drama kicked off a few months back when Jason felt some type of way about Beyonce not hitting him up with an invite to her Renaissance movie premiere in London. See, even though Bay had rolled out the red carpet for a bunch of other influencers, Jason was ticked off he didn't get one. And it's not like they strangers or anything. They go way back. On top of all that, dude dropped a cool $440,000 on tickets to the Renaissance concert and merch for his folks. But Beyonce? She didn't even think to send an invite his way, even though she was quick to welcome other influencers who didn't even put half as much support or cash towards her as he did. You leave out black leaders from the culture, and that's a problem for me. Like The Breakfast Club? They should have been recognized and brought in too. I mean, here I am, dropping thousands on over 40,000 worth of tickets to share this whole experience with my circle. And I've been doing the most, but I'm not about to get into all that here caused this internet, Beyonce's internet, would lose its mind. But then, things really hit the fan, because after Jason did his whole spiel, he straight up told his show's guests he was holding onto some dirt about Beyonce, and everybody was just shook. Dude went right into saying he'd keep his mouth shut about what he knows only if Beyonce could get Kelly Rowland to come through for an interview on his show. I'm about to spill it while Johnny hits that beep on this part so y'all ain't gonna catch the tea, but peep their faces, I'm dropping it right now. See, this is what I'm talking about. We in this together, we lift each other up. You feel me? Imagine if I let that slip in Hollywood. Oh, and check this, Johnny W, hit him with that beat. So like, for real, I feel Beyonce could have hit me up with a little something, you know? Like, there ought to be some love in this. Now, she might not be in the loop, but nah, she knows. Beyonce ain't in the know. Please, I don't buy that Beyonce and her crew ain't gonna fill her in. But peep this, I'm holding on to those receipts. Yes, sir, I still got them. Yvette's aware I'm sitting on these receipts. I got them ready, just in case I need to drop that message on Beyonce, cause believe me, I can reach her. I'm plugged in, I can get word to Beyonce, she gotta hear what's up. And for real, I got nothing but love for her publicist, but I gotta keep it 100. That's just how I roll, you feel me? We're out here trying to lock down Kelly Rowland as we speak. Now, if Kelly Rowland ain't coming through, because I put this out there, then we got issues. I'm about to drop those receipts, the very ones I've been talking about. Best believe I'm ready to light it up, but ain't no sweat off my back. I'm rooted right here, not going anywhere. Just know, this ain't the time for me to play games with this industry. Back then, a bunch of folks weren't feeling this because they thought he was just feeling too entitled. But yo, with all this buzz going round about Beyonce, possibly leaving Jay, folks are starting to think maybe this was what Jason was hinting at, talking about dropping all them receipts on Beyonce. Now, for anyone out 
out there still trying to piece together where all this gossip sparked from, let me break it down. It all kicked off not too long after folks started snooping into Jay-Z's ties with Diddy. Word is Beyonce got caught off guard by all the sneaky stuff Jay was mixed up in with Diddy. And she's trying to step back from all that mess before everything blows up. And check it, people are reevaluating Bay and Jay's whole relationship now. Considering she was only 18 when they first linked up and he was nearing 30. And then there's talk about Jay-Z and Foxy Brown, back when she was just 15, promising her the world in Hollywood. Allegedly a romantical thing. It's, it's all right, I'll say alleged, but we know, we know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, she hit it before Beyonce. <laughs> Allegedly. Kind of echoing what Diddy pulled with Cassie when she was 19. After the big shots, the PTV, the industry, whatever name you want to slap on them, finish dealing with Diddy, guess who's next in line? Yep, Jay-Z's turn to have his dirt aired out. Over his career, it's said, allegedly mind you, that Jay's been mixed up in stuff that'd have the public side-eyeing hard. For some reason, y'all be acting like you don't remember how young Foxy Brown was when she was messing with him. Uh-huh, and let's not gloss over him hanging tight with R. Kelly, getting into who knows what. Y'all just gonna overlook all that. Huh? But okay, let's talk about how Jay-Z got that PR and marketing game on lock, keeping all his business out the streets. And yeah, we know she, Beyonce, got power too. Oh, and don't let's skip over that bit where Beyonce's supposed former bodyguard spilled the tea on Jay-Z, having a tight grip on Beyonce. Mm-hmm, Bay's been deep in it for a hot minute, under his thumb. But yo, what really got folks talking about divorce rumors all over again was when Jay stepped up for Beyonce at the Grammys, calling them out for not giving her album of the year after all her hard grind. Folks were clapping him on for that, giving props for standing by his lady. But did y'all catch how Beyonce wasn't feeling it, looking all kinds of uncomfortable and annoyed? And then, Jay didn't even call her by her name, just this young lady, like something ain't sitting right between them. I ain't trying to put this young lady on blast, but she's stacking more Grammys than anybody else and still ain't snagged album of the year. Now tell me how that makes sense. You got the most Grammys, but no album of the year? Nah, that don't add up. Word on the street is Beyonce's dropping her hair care line and that new album real quick, faster than we expected. Though she'd been planning this for a minute, she's hustling to get that coin before all the dirt on Jay-Z's messy business with Diddy hits the fan. Blogger Storm Monroe let it slip that Beyonce's hip to all that's about to go down, and that's why she's pushing her stuff out at lightning speed. It's partly why they've been doing their own thing, living separate lives, and why we might just witness one of the biggest breakups in Hollywood. Because Jay-Z, he's about to have all his business out there for the world to see, and no amount of money or power is going to cover this up. Both of them know it's only a matter of time. As for who's going to bear the brunt of this scandal, I can't say for sure. You might have to holler at Jason Lee for the scoop on that, but just know, once Jay-Z's past comes creeping out, we're likely to see Beyonce heading for the door. And she might not sit down for an interview, but best believe their publicist is going to drop a statement. They'll be talking about how the Carters have been on different paths for a while, building their empire and whatnot. Now, before all this drama unfolds, we might catch another tour, maybe even a new album from them both. I ain't sure because when it comes down to it, it's all about that paper for them. They're going to do whatever's best for the bag first and foremost. When it comes to Beyonce, is love in the equation? For real, Jay's all she's known for a minute. It's all kinds of messed up and Jason's sitting on some juicy details about Beyonce. It's still up in the air if he's going to spill everything he knows, but one thing's for real. He ain't about to hold back when he decides to talk. Beyonce better hustle and secure that interview with Kelly Rowland before it's too late. And meanwhile, folks been dropping their two cents left and right, not holding back at all. Like someone said, Beyonce's vibe used to be all lively and bright. Post-Lemonade era, it's rare to catch her smiling. Seems she's just about stacking her coins then dipping out. Ain't nothing wrong with handling business, but nowadays folks expect a little more openness with their fans. I feel that. It broke my heart seeing her look so down at the Grammys. Then there's this take. J and B are on high alert. Looks like they're prepping to step back, making sure Blue's geared up for what's next. Beyonce seems like she's wrapping up her time in the line limelight, ready to switch gears to the business end of things. But what's your take? What are y'all thinking about Beyonce potentially calling it quits with Jay-Z? And is this the dirt Jason Lee was hinting at dropping? You know the drill. Drop your thoughts down below in the comments, and, and don't you skip out on clicking here to peep this other wild video. Lord, have mercy, I'm calling on heaven and earth to bear witness today that Rock Nation is about to fall apart, all backed by that corporate money. Everyone was hip to the game once the scandal with R. Kelly hit the fan and Jay-Z 
ghosted. Truth is, he been new the whole time. For two decades, Jay-Z kept mum about R. Kelly, but his ex-partner Dame Dash ain't keeping quiet. Aaliyah's at the heart of it all. Aaliyah and I were tight. Real serious, back when she was just coming up. Forgot about Jay, huh? We all heard about Dame Dash and Aaliyah, and yep, R. Kelly, but Jay had his own situation with Aaliyah when she was underage. Remember Foxy Brown and Jay? Now it's like the end game for Jay-Z, and he's about to catch the same fate as Diddy. 50 Cent's out here dropping serious warnings for Jay to keep an eye out, cause he's coming for him with everything he's got. Word is 50's already on the hunt for evidence to make sure Jay's the next one on the chopping block after Diddy. There's solid proof out there of Jay getting mixed up with young women, promising them the stars in Hollywood, all while they were still under 18. Initially, folks looked the other way when it came to these accusations, but with Diddy's drama unfolding, everybody's taking a second look at Jay's past actions. And let me tell you, the evidence? It's stacking up. The word out here is 50 Cent ain't about to let up until he brings Jay down and lets everyone see Jay's just as foul as Diddy. Jason, you hear me? Please don't sick them on me, just hit me up. Now for the folks out of the loop, 50 and Jay-Z been at odds since 99, battling it out for that King of New York crown. They've been trading shots in their tracks and Jay even threatened to shut down 50's whole career at one point. But eventually they squashed that beef and that's when 50 decided to put Jay and Diddy on the remix to I Get Money. What went down in the studio? Nobody's really sure, but that beef between F50 and Jay got real personal real quick. Word is, 50 caught wind of some shady stuff Jay and Diddy were into and figured he needed to distance himself. For those not in the know, Jay and Diddy been tight for years, way before 50 even stepped on the scene. There's even this pic of Jay up on Diddy's site, and they've been seen together at countless industry events. But with all the dirt being dug up lately, folks are starting to look at Jay like he's Diddy's right-hand man, especially with how they both been treating their women. But here's the team most folks ain't sipping on, Jay got into hot water a few years back for supposedly pressuring Foxy Brown into a relationship when she was just 15, all to boost her career. Or so they say. I'ma keep it labeled as alleged. But between you and me, we know what's up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yup. She was with him before. Beyonce, supposedly, folks are saying Jay dropped a hefty sum on Foxy to keep their thing under wraps, and Dame Dash, Jay's old business partner, confirmed it but got all tight when folks pressed him about Jay and Foxy's dealings. At what age was Foxy Brown signed? You know, I wasn't paying attention to Foxy Brown. Yeah, but that's. I didn't sign Foxy Brown. I know you didn't. I'm just that. asking the you question. Asking I'm on the block. I'm responsible for everybody. <laughs> you the boss. That. I wasn't. Oh, now I'm the boss. I, what, I've always given you the credit as a boss. What I'm saying is, bro, I didn't sign Foxy Brown. I'm just asking. What do I got to do with Foxy Brown? I thought Foxy was like 16. That's all I'm saying. What that? Did I sign her? <sighs> it sounds like you. All I'm saying is, like in this industry, when we live in this glass like you house, got, it seems like you got a question for Jay. Ask him. <laughs> Don't ask me his questions, bro. I'm not taking it. I'm not just. Okay. Y'all can keep asking me questions. We're moving on. Y'all keep asking me questions. Y'all want to ask him because he ain't here. <laughs> ask him. I ain't got shit to do with that. And I don't even know nothing about that. And now I don't even want to remember nothing about that. People couldn't help but notice this whole situation feels a lot like what went down with Diddy and Cassie. Diddy had Cassie thinking she was about to blow up in Hollywood, had her all caught up in promises, only to end up sidelining her career. Oh, but Dame had more to say. He dropped even more dirt on Jay's real suspect taste for the younger ladies. He was like, he had to cut ties with Jay-Z when it hit him that Jay wasn't about to back away from R. Kelly, even after the world found out R. Kelly was out here preying on young girls. Back then, R. Kelly just got busted for lying about Aaliyah's age and marrying her when she was barely 15. You'd think Jay would have stepped back after that mess came to light, but nah, he went ahead and doubled down, teaming up with R. Kelly for the best of both worlds. Dame even spilled that Jay was trying to get close to Aaliyah, showering her with flowers and invites to his notorious parties. But Aaliyah wasn't having any of it. Looks like Jay was shooting a shot with her too, and I was out the loop on him sending her flowers, trying to woo her, cause folks thought you and Jay were tight. For real, Jay and I kicked it a lot. He was my boy. We had good times, but it wasn't like that between him and Aaliyah. After the tragic plane crash took Aaliyah from us, whispers started that her death wasn't just a tragic accident. It was a setup by the big shots, including Jay, R. Kelly, and yeah, Diddy was in the mix too. Word is Aaliyah didn't even want to be on that plane. They say she was drugged without her knowing, knocked out cold, and then they just put her on that flight. Next thing, she's gone. After Jay had his weird thing going on with Foxy and couldn't make it work with Aaliyah, he turned his attention to Beyonce. Just like with Foxy and Aaliyah, Bay was young and hadn't seen much of the world yet. Jay himself led 
let it slip in that 2007 chat with Charlie Rose that he first met Beyonce when she was just 16, but he chilled until she hit 18 to make his move. He was like, she ain't really had the chance to mingle with a diverse crowd, hinting that because he was way older, she kinda lives through her music. And check this, Beyonce's former security, Uncle Rye, came through saying Jay's the reason Beyonce got caught up in a serious substance problem. Dude had her trying all kinds of stuff, keeping her under his thumb. For real, Bay's been dealing with this for a minute and he's been the one steering her. This whole scenario is eerily similar to the mess Diddy had with Cassie, getting her tangled up with substances and alcohol, stuff like ketamine and ecstasy, which had her battling some serious demons. Then we got the story about Jay's supposed old flame, Kathy White, who folks say Jay might have done darty. Word started spreading when cats began snooping and stumbled on this piece by Hollywood street king spilling tea on Jay having a thing with Kathy. The scoop was, yo, there's this low-key buzz floating around that Jay-Z's been getting close with one of Claudia Jordan's homegirls, a lady named Kathy Karina White. Hollywood street king was all, Jay's been all over that for a hot minute. Check out this pic and you'll spot Kathy and Claudia just off to Jay's left, way too cozy for just anybody. Sips tea. And for real, if you take a good look at that photo, you straight up see Kathy living it up with Jay, Diddy, and Claudia Jordan. <laughs> all right, here's where it gets even thicker. Just a year after Kathy and Jay's secret got out, Kathy ended up dead and they said it was a brain aneurysm. But folks weren't buying it. They smelled foul play all over it. Hollywood Street King came with all the proof, even chopping it up with one of the NYPD detectives on the case, came across this article breaking it all down. It was like, just got word Kathy Michelle White passed suddenly, so I dived into the investigation. And guess what? It wasn't no brain aneurysm like the internet's buzzing. NYPD detective laid it out. Kathy's death is a big question mark, and they're waiting on autopsy and toxicology. Death's looking suspicious. Got a call about an emergency at an apartment on 130 West 19th Street in Manhattan. Ambulance scooped Kathy because she was feeling ill, took her to Beth Israel Hospital, and that's where she passed. Too soon to call it an aneurysm. They're suspecting maybe someone slipped her something foul, so they're running a toxicology. Gotta sit tight for two weeks for that info. Two weeks before she died, Kathy hit up a major tabloid looking to expose her and Jay-Z's past. She didn't spill much, though. But peep this, after linking up with the tabloid, she warned Jay she was bout to go public with their affair for some cash. This all went down in those last two weeks. Then, barely two days after the news dropped, Beyonce was expecting Jay's child. Kathy's gone under real shady circumstances. Kathy's ending was grim. She left this world screaming, and the Carters got some explaining to do. But it's looking like one of them had more to do with it than the other. Makes you wonder, did Sean Carter handle his side piece? Who was carrying his child? Because Beyonce was feeling some type of way? Or maybe Beyonce's got a fiercer side we don't know about, and Jay had to clean up? I'm just saying. So, you see, Jay's out here moving just as grimy as Diddy. He's been flying under the radar because he's slicker, keeps his desires in check. But Jay, he's a whole nother level of cold. He's been playing chess with folks he calls friends, stepping back while they fall one by one. For 30 years, he's been the puppet master. The kept D trial might just force Sean to come clean about stuff he's kept in the dark, maybe even flip the whole game on its head up. Oh, and FY ain't about to sit back and watch the show without dropping his two cents. When Cassie called out D for assaulting her and messing with her life, Life, FY was quick to back her up, dragging Diddy after he settled with Cassie quick fast. He was like, Diddy settled that bill pronto, should have cleaned up before the sharks came sniffing. And FY ain't stopping there, he's on a mission to pull back the curtain on Diddy with a documentary, digging into all the dirt Diddy's been hiding, and the folks who've been covering for him. Even posted about developing the doc, throwing shade like, thought Diddy was a mogul. If he's smart, he'll hit bankruptcy now. I'm the right man to bring the truth to light. Stay tuned for the receipts. But this doc ain't just stopping at Diddy. FY's gearing up to expose Jay-Z, too. After feds hit Diddy's spot, FY reminded everyone he still got that project in the works, posting a meme of Jay on a milk carton like, anyone seen Jay? LOL, Diddy says he's MIA. FY's making it crystal clear. Jay's wrapped up in the same mess as Diddy. The evidence is stacking up, and Jay's about to face the music. As always, everyone's got something to say. Like one cat pointed out, Diddy ain't going down by himself. Duke's got dirt on everybody. When his alarm rings, it's gonna be a mess. Another chimed in. 50's keeping it too real. Y'all quick to drag Nikki for her man's past, but Jay-Z and Diddy, they're in a league of their own, been at the same raves, tours, and studio sessions. Power moves just like Diddy, cut from the same cloth. So there you have it, folks. The tea's been spilled, the secrets unearthed, and the drama's unfolding right before our eyes. From Jason Lee's bold threats and mysterious dirt on Beyonce, to the tangled web of Jay-Z's past indiscretions and the ripple effects felt across Hollywood's elite circles. This saga's more than just gossip. It's a revealing glimpse into the complex dynamics of power 
influence, and secrecy that govern the glittering world of celebrity. As we peel back the layers on Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship, the alleged affairs and the shadowy dealings with industry bigwigs like Diddy, we're reminded of the old adage that all that glitters is not gold. The glitz and glamour of stardom often mask the very human struggles and moral quandaries faced by those we idolize. The revelations about Jay-Z's connections, his apparent manipulation, and the murky circumstances surrounding Kathy White's tragic demise paint a picture of a man who's navigated the murky waters of fame with calculated precision, possibly at great cost to those closest to him. And as for Beyonce, the queen of pop herself, her silence in the wake of these storms speaks volumes about the price of privacy in the public eye. But the conversation doesn't end here. As FY gears up to expose the skeletons in both Jay-Z and Diddy's closets, we're on the brink of potentially seismic shifts in the narratives we've been sold. The coming documentary promises to blow the lid off the secrets they've fought to keep hidden, challenging us to question the narratives we've embraced about our favorite stars. So, what do you think? Is Jay-Z really the next domino to fall in the wake of Diddy's scandal? Will Beyonce's next moves reveal deeper truths about their famed partnership? And most importantly, what does this saga reveal about the cost of fame, loyalty, and legacy in the high-stakes world of music and entertainment? Your thoughts, insights, and speculations are what keep this conversation going. So drop a comment below, share your take on this unfolding drama, and let's keep digging for the truth behind the glitz and glamour. And hey, don't forget to check out that other message video for more juicy details. The saga continues and you won't want to miss a beat.